after he nurses, he gets to get a lot of milk out of one. This works great. Um, he's made different size cups for different use. Some of these got really small tips, and some got really large ones. So you have to have different sizes. Um, and then he's got a bottle too that he uses with a little nipple on there already that you can use to pick the lamp right away as soon as you get the milk out. Does the bottle fit, fit in, in here too, Don? Yeah. Yeah, you can screw this bottle right in here. And you can get the milk straight out of the U and put it in this bottle and then just put the, the nipple in the bottle and, and go on and feed the lamp. If that's what you're gonna do, this bottle feed your lamb, it, it fits right in there and you can feed them right away from here. This U has abnormally large teats on her, doesn't she, Henri? Yeah. How long ago did she lamb? About an hour ago. Okay. Pretty thick, isn't it? There's no way we can, oh yeah, it filled up pretty good. Once you get so much vacuum built in there, it, it uh -huh. uh, That's a very good it, point. Whoever, I guess what, what I would do is, whenever you tell people to feed them, I would say once they, they suck a little bit, then let it go and uh -huh. do it again, you know what I mean? Okay, so they're not getting uh, the, the release from the vac air. vacuum release there. Right. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. I'll be sending this to um, Norway and... Uh, they just, See we got it. Yeah. You see the size of this fuse teats are very large. Is that what you'd like to get down them to start with, about 160 or 8 ounces or so? Yeah, 8 ounces is plenty. They're a pretty good size lamb, so they yeah. can take 8 ounces. Uh -huh. Is she polypay? Mm -hmm. That's what you have mostly, ain't it? Yeah, you don't want it in the long Right. Well, his tail's a wagon now. He's looking for the tip, so. Three times. 
Sam's teaching. Yeah, there we go. <laughs>